Hello, YouTube! This is Jinsari, the Nerd Rage Ranter, and I'm presenting my latest Versus video after my little hiatus. I finally got around to downloading the cinematic trailers for The Old Republic onto my pewter. So, in a first for my videos, I'm going to include ACTUAL VIDEO CLIPS! It was actually this development that influenced my choice of fighters. So without further delay, I present for your approval, Count Dooku vs. Darth Malgus. Dubbed Darth Tyrannus by Lord Sidious, Count Dooku was essentially the replacement for his previous apprentice, Darth Maul. Formerly a master within the Jedi Order, and a teacher of the famed Qui-Gon Jinn, Count Dooku was renowned as one of their greatest lightsaber duelists and force wielders, and his departure from the Jedi was considered a sore loss for the Order. Once recruited into the Sith, Dooku helped instigate the Clone Wars, becoming the head of state for the Confederacy of Independent Systems, a Sith-controlled puppet state. However, Sidious viewed him as little more than a placeholder for Anakin Skywalker rather than a true apprentice. Towards the end of the war, Dooku and Skywalker were pitted against each other, and Skywalker came out ahead, beheading Dooku. Born Veridun, Darth Malgus was a powerful Sith Lord within the resurgent Sith Empire. Notably, Malgus, alongside his master, Vindican, was the first Sith to cross blades with a Jedi in over 300 years, engaging the future Grand Master of the Jedi Order, Satil Shan, and killing her teacher, Kao Sen Dirac. At the conclusion of the battle, Malgus executed Vindican and assumed his mantle. Darth Malgus went on to become a noted Sith war hero, leading Sith forces to victory on such notable battlefronts as Alderaan. However, he still suffered his share of defeats, and was severely injured during the Republic recapture of Alderaan. Making a speedy recovery, Malgus went on to lead the sack of the Jedi Temple during the Sith assault on Coruscant. Despite this great victory, Malgus was infuriated by the resulting Treaty of Coruscant, considering peace with the Jedi and the Republic, or anyone for that matter, unthinkable. After the apparent death of Emperor Vidiot, Malgus became one of the Sith warlords contending for the throne, though his bid was cut short by a Republic strike team and he was apparently killed. Dooku was a product of decades of training and combat experience, and was renowned as one of the finest swordsmen in the Jedi Order prior to his fall. Driven by a competitive spirit, Dooku chose to specialize in the dueling-centric Makashi style, which relied on fluidity and economy of motion. Dooku relied heavily on pinpoint accuracy and balanced footwork, preferring to outmaneuver opponents and deflect their attacks rather than meet them head to head. He based himself around balance and mobility, and drilled himself to the point where many of his moves were executed instinctively. Dooku was highly effective against multiple opponents and shooters, compensating for the two prime weaknesses of the Makashi style, and he has demonstrated a high level of skill at unarmed combat. Dooku strongly emphasized tactical know-how and emotional level-headedness, and has lured opponents to locations of his own choice and dominated the battle with home field advantage. An additional edge was the rarity of the Makashi style. Most duelists simply weren't prepared for the finesse and precise movements of a form bred for lightsaber dueling. Offensively, Dooku was unpredictable and incredibly precise. Defensively, he was highly efficient and minimalist in his moves, and fended off most attacks with little to no effort. While a skilled and level-headed tactician, 
Dooku was also extremely overconfident, and he has made some really stupid decisions on the basis of overwhelming arrogance. Also, Dooku has a great deal of difficulty generating any significant amounts of kinetic energy in his moves, hampered as he is by Makashi's focus on blade control and precision, and accordingly he has a lot of difficulty dealing with power attacks. He is especially weak against the Dejem So style. Darth Malgus is an infamous Sith warrior and Jedi hunter, and as a dedicated lightsaber duelist, he has a great deal of experience in that arena. Based on his reliance on brute strength, Malgus is likely a specialist in Dejem So, a variation on the fifth Jedi lightsaber form that focuses strongly on lightsaber dueling. Despite the strength-oriented nature of his technique, Malgus remained surprisingly agile and precise, and had a great deal of skill as an acrobat. Also, he demonstrated excellent balance and mobility. Malgus had little difficulty with blast deflection, and was extremely capable against large groups of enemies. In addition to his basic lightsaber skills, Malgus was also a practiced hand with dual blades and a capable unarmed fighter, often applying grappling techniques and barehanded strikes in combat. Malgus was also quite skilled at chaining force-based attacks into his lightsaber sequences. His offense was strong and utterly relentless. His defense was fast-paced and extremely tight. Malgus was also an accomplished tactician, and was highly skilled at recognizing and exploiting openings in his opponent's defenses. On the whole, Darth Malgus's lightsaber technique is somewhat clunky, though extremely effective and varied. Now, while Darth Malgus's lightsaber technique is nowhere near as refined as Dooku's, he is capable of matching both Dooku's precision and his mobility, backing this up with a lot of brute strength, which Dooku is weak against. Now, while I'm willing to concede that in terms of raw skill, Dooku is a much better duelist, Malgus has much greater combat effectiveness, and for that, he gets the edge. Count Dooku is an old human male in his mid-80s, and he's in insanely good shape for a man of his years. However, he is still well past his prime and relies heavily on his force abilities to empower his body, compensating for his infirmities. Not there are that many to compensate for. Darth Malgus is an approximately middle-aged human male despite extensive dark side degradation resulting in the deathly pallor and glowing yellow eyes common to dark siders malgus's physical capabilities don't appear to have been affected in the slightest and he remains both extremely strong and agile however due to extensive injuries sustained in battle malgus is forced to wear a respirator mask however the mask is merely a treatment option, and Malgus frequently removes it, and is fully capable of operating without it. This one is obvious. Malgus is both faster and stronger than Dooku, and while the respirator mask is a weakness, it's not a significant one. Darth Malgus gets the edge. Count Dooku was an extremely powerful force wielder, renowned within the Jedi Order for both his knowledge and his skill. His skills in telekinesis were extremely advanced. As a Jedi Knight, he was able to simultaneously lift all of the chairs in the Jedi Council Chamber, and later in life, he was capable of personal levitation. In combat, he was fond of telekinetically throwing about heavy objects in order to distract and off-balance his opponents, a technique heavily informed by his knowledge of the Sith Dun Mosh tactic. 
In fact, he was even capable of breaking through the force shields of opposing force wielders and choking them out or throwing them about, though he's only done this rarely. His skills with telepathy were also extremely advanced, and he has little difficulty with mind tricks and is in fact able to forcibly rip information from the minds of certain subjects. He was able to use this skill to tame animals and bend them to his will, keeping such a dominated crit dragon as a pet. Dooku was also capable of using the force to cleanse his body of poisons, though this ability had its limits. He had little difficulty in neutralizing the Keratos Plague of Concord Dawn, though he was somehow unable to protect himself from a Night Sister poison that dulled his senses, and he was instead forced to ride out the symptoms. Dooku was a practiced hand when it came to Force Lightning, and he has used it both in combat and to torture people. However, most opponents had little difficulty protecting themselves from this, this attack, simply using their lightsabers to absorb the current. Dooku was also versed in the Kuei Tech meditation, allowing him to conceal his force signature and go unnoticed. However, Dooku's mastery of the technique wasn't complete, and he has been located by those who were actively looking for him. Darth Malgus was a powerful and accomplished Darksider. As a Sith warrior dedicated to lightsaber dueling, Malgus was extremely skilled at enhancing his own physical capabilities, striking with supernatural strength and speed. He was extremely skilled with telekinesis and has even killed force wielders with it, breaking through their shields and striking them directly. As previously mentioned, he was extremely skilled at chaining telekinetic attacks into his lightsaber sequences, and was adept at telekinetic lightsaber techniques, such as the saber throw. His applications of force lightning were also extremely powerful, and his targets are often, though not always, killed instantly. Pray for those who aren't. Malchus was also adept at using the Force to shield himself from harm, and has deflected projectiles and shrugged off grenade detonations. Notably, he survived being buried alive beneath hundreds of tons of rubble. However, while Malchus was a powerful Force wielder, he was primarily a lightsaber duelist. So while his Force abilities were exceedingly powerful, they were extremely limited in variety and application. While Dooku is clearly a more knowledgeable force wielder with a broader skill set, Malgus still outstrips him in terms of straight up combat effectiveness. Darth Malgus gets the edge. Dooku wielded a curve hilted lightsaber of classical design. These specialized dueling lightsabers were designed to fit better into the palm, allowing for greater blade control and more leverage on power attacks. Plus, the emitter guard helped protect his hand, preventing him from inadvertently touching his own blade while performing the complex maneuvers of Makashi. Obviously an incredibly user-friendly weapon. In addition to its ergonomic benefits, one could also adjust their grip on the hilt and change the angle of the blade during attacks, which provided a massive edge in the super precise world of lightsaber combat, where victory or death was the difference of centimeters. Dooku's lightsaber also featured a dual phase setting. The thumb trigger next to the emitter shortened the blade by half, allowing the lightsaber to be wielded in combat as a short sword for devastating close quarters attacks. A shame this property is never actually explored in any of the sources that Dooku appears in. As a Jedi, Dooku utilized a single blue-hued Dagon Crystal as the focusing lens. When he fell to the dark side, he replaced the Dagon Crystal with a Crimson Synthetic Crystal granting his weapon greater cutting power at the expense of maneuverability. 
Darth Malchus carried a heavy-duty Sith lightsaber, of typical design for Sith warriors of the day. The hilt was squared off and sectional, with a large hand grip and a throttle-style activator positioned just above it. The pommel was somewhat outsized, and the emitter was flanked by two large blade guards, giving his hilt a double axe head appearance. In keeping with Sith tradition, Malgus utilized a red-hued synthetic crystal as the focusing lens, trading maneuverability and control for greater cutting power. While Malgus's lightsaber is a fine weapon in its own right, a perfect example of classic Sith design, Dooku's lightsaber is the superior piece. The primary clincher is the ergonomic benefit of Dooku's lightsaber, which bolsters his fighting style, as well as the dual phase setting, which provides options in combat. As Malgus's weapon is of a much more standard make, it doesn't provide any such benefits, beyond Malgus's basic familiarity with his own warksmanship. Dooku's lightsaber gets the edge. Now, the verdict. Despite giving most of the edges to Darth Malgus, this match is still quite close. While Malgus has greater combat effectiveness, Dooku is still a master duelist and an extremely creative fighter. While Malgus is faster and stronger than Dooku, this doesn't mean much when Dooku can simply draw on the Force to overcome his physical shortcomings. While Malgus has more raw power behind his Force abilities, Dooku has more abilities at his disposal. I don't really have anything to say about the weapons. In the end, this fight essentially comes down to this question. Is it better to know a lot of tricks, or just be really good at a few? I say it's better to be really good at just a few, and for that reason I declare Darth Malgus the winner. This is just my opinion, so feel free to chime in. If you have any insanely long essay comments, just leave them on my channel or email me here. I'm going to regret putting my email address out there, I just know it. This is Jensare, the Nerd Rage Ranter, signing off.